السيدات والسادة الحضور نرحب بحضرتك Honorable participants, Egypt, the creativity of the place where civilizations met and continued to be the juncture point of trade in the world. Suez Canal has been the witness of the creativity of Egypt, carrying a message of peace to the world. The Suez Canal is the basic factor for the continued of the healthy economy of Egypt constantly. It is a rep representative of further development, particularly in the establishment of ex international trade relations. The development of Su the Suez Canal is the gift of Egypt to the world. It is a panel that will be held in a few minutes. We will be honored with the presence during this meeting. The President of the Arab Republic of Egypt. And His Royal Majesty Mukran ibn Saud, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. In this panel, we, we will be addressed by Mr. Mamish, the head of the Suez Canal Authority, and he is Karay, the CEO of the engineering department, uh, Dr. Hani Sarajin, uh, chief of the board of directors of uh, Sarajin and Company, and Mr. Stubiji, head of the in Federal Indust in the Industrial Federation of Egypt, and uh, the moderator will be from Sky News. Your Excellency, the President, ladies and gentlemen, honorable participants, I wish to welcome you in this very pivotal session that will be allocated for the very important subject among the very promising projects that are submitted to you during this conference, the project for the development of the Suez Canal access in 1969. In 1869, a new history started with Egypt under its leadership as an economy. And today, after 150 years, the Suez Canal itself will establish a new historic stage in a very important uh, juncture witnessed not only by Egypt but the whole region. The Suez Canal, which is most important in the world, where 100 111% uh, uh, of the international trade goes through. It uh, is the reality of international trade. A few, a little time uh, lies between us and the widening of the Suez Canal and opening the new passage. In this session, we will give details about the access of the Suez Canal that will constitute between 30 to 35 percent of Egypt's economy when it is completed. At the outset, I wish to welcome the speakers in this meeting, uh, Admiral Mamish, the head of the Suez Canal Authority, Admiral and Mr. Yahya Zaki, the managing director for the engineering department in Egypt, Dr. Hani Sarayuddin, the founder and chairman of uh, industry in Egypt, Sarayuddin and partners, and Mr. Suizi from the Federation of Industries in Egypt. We will start with the uh, Marshal uh, Manish. In the name of God Almighty, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our honorable guests, welcome you here in our dear homeland, Egypt. Egypt, Egypt the, the civilization, Egypt, love and peace. Welcome here, dear guests and brothers, partners in development and prosperity for Egypt and for its great people, and for the peoples of the world at large. We welcome here on the path of the creation of peace and uh, the disdainment of terrorism and fanaticism.
With your permission, sir, Your Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, President of the Arab Republic, Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable guests. We welcome you here in our dear homeland, Egypt, Egypt, the civil civilization, Egypt, love and peace. Welcome you here, dear guests and dear brothers, partners in development and prosperity for Egypt and its great people and for the peoples of the world at large. We welcome you on the path of the creation of peace and uh, the denunciation the of terrorism and fanaticism for the spread of peace among the peoples. Egypt throughout the ages has been and will continue to be the cradle of civilization and the cradle for peace. And we in the Suez Canal are working night and day in order to preserve uh, the Suez Canal as an artery, a safe artery for all uh, ships from all parts of the world without discrimination in the interest of international trade and in the interest of prosperity and welfare for the peoples at large. This is a very noble role. We are exerting all our arts with every power in order to realize it and with every pride. We actually, the uh, maritime movement did not uh, stop for one uh, minute in the Suez Canal under the difficult conditions that we have witnessed in the country. On the contrary, the Suez Canal was able to add to its returns and realize the largest rate of growth in the, its history in 2014. And this is a evidence on, uh, on the competence of the Egyptians and their ability to face the difficulties and realize safety and security. It is the Egyptians, the strong Egyptians, who are solid and noble. the wise Egyptian leadership that is strong and powerful under the most difficult conditions were able to develop things and push forward the wheel of the Egyptian economy to forwards and to by wish, uh, wishing uh, 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 issuing orders for the digging of the new service canal and realizing the largest uh, digging effort in the world to be an uh, additional artery for welfare for Egypt and for its great people and for the whole world. It is truly, as president, the President of the Republic has said, President Abdel Fattah Sisi has said during the meeting of the UN General Assembly that the new Suez Canal is the gift of Egypt to the whole world. The greater challenge was to have orders issued to carry out uh, that process within one year so that would it would be the evidence of the power and the determination of the world to face the challenge and uh, create miracles. The planning is Egyptian, the implementation is Egypt, the financing is Egyptian from all the great, from the great Egyptian people who will be able to combine, compile about m more than 64 billion pounds, about nine uh, billion dollars in seven or eight days. We're confident that Egypt is starting new scopes of security and safety and economic development. And in confidence in the wise political leadership seeking for a prosperous future for the four coming generations of the Egyptian people and in contribution uh, to accelerate international trade for the prosperity of the peoples of the world. In order to add to the potentials of the Suez Canal to be able to receive r a giant commercial uh, vessels, deepening uh, the canal to 60 feet during the in the international waterway, and to limit the uh, passage from 18 hours to 11 hours, which will follow the, uh, the drop in the prices through the passage of Suez Canal and the realization of the largest part of uh, finances through a parallel Suez Canal to the Suez Canal uh, with a range of 35 kilometers in an attempt to deepen to 37 kilometers. The total project is 72 kilometers through which we will have to lift about 500 million square meters of uh, sand, including 242 square meters 
using 41 factors in the largest digging attempt in history with every power to face the challenge and to double the foreign currency of returns from 59% to 59%, about three folds, stemming from the great creativity of that location of the Suez Canal that uh, li links the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea and linking between Africa and Asia and Europe. Through this uh, uh, geographical relation, you can reach all parts of the world with ease from the Mediterranean basin east of Europe and until the eastern uh, coast of the United States and the, the south, El Aqaba, the Arab Gulf, and the Sea of the Arab uh, North, Southeast of Asia. The project for the development of Suez Canal will also accelerate the Egyptian economy and the international economy will give it a great push forward uh, sound scientific planning through researches and studies in order to construct, make a national program through an international uh, engineering bureau through determine the strategy of the project while determine the different kinds of industry in the different fields that are going to be implemented in the industrial zones and all of the logistics depending on the central location of the of the uh, Suez Canal also being in, in infrastructure and establishment of a new integrated industrial zone in cooperation with the Ministry of Planning and the Minister of the Finance and the establishment of two uh, cities for uh, small industries and micro industries east of the Kantara north and south of the Suez Canal and the chairman of the Federation of Industry in Egypt will speak about this matter, about uh, the return for this investment and those projects and the social returns while providing more than one million employment opportunity. And this will be submitted through workshops that are going to be held tomorrow. This helps and realize the largest level of success in the field of development. We call on all to invest in uh, this promising uh, area for uh, global economy for Egypt and the whole world and the project for the development of the Suez Canal area. It is the safe and optimal investment in the most strategic points in the world. Here is Egypt in its, no, its new form, opens its arms for all, to all investors from all parts of the world through the Suez Canal, the artery and life for the Egypt and the world. It places itself once again on the investment plan map of the world with all credibility and transparency and in its best form. The uh, investment opportunities in uh, the project for the development of South Canal is a golden apology for all. We have prepared and for the investment projects within the framework of the Suez Canal area on scientific basis and through a general plan for the project that provides hopes for a successful and safe investment in the area. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's a today's opportunity before tomorrow. Let us work together, united in order to put forward the wheel for the Egyptian economy and the international economy in the interest of the whole of humanity. Through this e important economic conference, we'll submit the main aspects of the general plan for the project and uh, the different aspects of the plan while holding four workshops that are specialized to explain in detail and to respond to all queries while we are fully prepared to agree to carry out f immediate agreement for carrying out the investment projects in the area to realize the largest amount of transparency and credibility. Permit me to submit to you some of the advantages of the investment in the project of development in the Suez Canal area. First of all, having a new Suez Canal will provide the location uh, high uh, uh, ranking that is distinguished. It will be able to receive the majority of the kinds of vessels in uh, easy manner, which will reflect directly on the project of investment, depending basically on uh, the maritime movement and will have an added value to the uh, indices that will help reach the sources of promotion and the marketing internationally and internally in addition to the logistic 
significance that is unlimited in its advantages to the project and will have great impact on the success of investment in the region. Would provide the legislations, legal legislations to invest in the pro in the project that would provide protection for the investors and national interest. To provide land for the project with the right of benefits for the foreigners and the national investors for long term and renewable to provide investors with a feeling of security and stability. The infrastructure, which is the basic element in the formation and the success of the project and will be carried out according to the international criteria and according to the renewed ideas prevailing in the Arab Republic of Egypt to dive to the sources of energy and renewable and new and the sources of water with establishment of a road network with its different qualities and the rest of the infrastructure under the supervision of international houses in response to the needs of the project. We will take into consideration the use of a flexible methodology to deal with the investors as regards uh, the contracting uh, issues through the location of the project, through uh, facilities and procedures, through the one window system in coordination with different ministries, relevant ministries and the sovereign authorities and to provide uh, a unified element. The link, uh, the project is linked to, to uh, land and uh, maritime and air uh, networks that would allow the transport of goods by different means inside and outside of the country. Uh, that would provide investment authority uh, uh, opportunities to the national and foreign uh, investment houses through uh, financing and indicators. By making use of the surplus of liquidities in the national banks to finance the activities of the project and the infrastructure and according to the instructions of the Egyptian government. We have uh, human diversified cadres that are specialized in all fields and this is the wealth, the real wealth of Egypt. The new investment climate in the Egyptian reality is reassuring for stability and seriousness and credibility in th its dealings would provide a, a safe climate and a stable uh, atmosphere for investment. Having a great judiciary in Egypt that uh, enjoys competence and justice and realize justice among all parties. And lastly, we extend every gratitude and appreciation that you have honored us with this, with your presence in this com uh, economic historic conference. That presence is expressive of your sincere and noble feelings towards Egypt and its great people. And we extend our deep gratitude and appreciation to all those who have prepared for and or for the organization of this very important successful meeting and all those who have contributed to the general planning of the project and all who has contributed to the digging of the new Suez Canal and the present one. Let us work together for a better future where love, peace would prevail inside of Egypt and outside of it and among the peoples of the world. Let, may God protect Egypt and its great people and may God protect you, you dear friends and partners and our dear brothers. Let us well, ask all God to protect your countries from all evil and may peace prevail in the whole world and let love spread amongst the people, among the peoples of the world where all hands would be united for the future of Egypt. May God provide us with success. Enter Egypt with the will of God in safety. The uh, ministerial committee under the chairman of engineer, the engineer prime minister invites all invest Egyptian investors, Arab investors and foreign investors to invest in the development project of the Suez and Canal area. We are welcoming you with their kind participation to invest in order to realize sustainable development. This great people for the loftiness of this great people and the realization of the great Egyptian dream for a better future for Egypt and its youth. Long live Egypt, long live Egypt, long live Egypt and peace be upon you. Uh, 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قامة الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي سمو الأمير محمد عبد العزيز السيد رئيس مجلس الوزراء مؤسس إبراهيم مخشب السادة الوزراء السادة الضيوف السيدات والسادة حقيقة من دواعي فخري واعتزازي أن أنا أكون معكم النهاردة أقدم فكرة عامة عن مشروع التنمية لمنطقة قناة السويس مهمة we have worked sincerely and we hope that we have finished with the layout and we can present it today and tomorrow for all potential investors. Your Excellency President, allow me, we are going to see a promotion for the project. It is in English. And we will have copies in different languages. Now we start with a seven minute film and then I will give my presentation. Thank you. For over 150 years, the Suez Canal has been the lifeblood of Egypt's economy. In August 2014, President Sisi launched the Suez Canal expansion project. A mega development to construct a new 72 kilometer long canal which will allow for two way traffic. The project will increase the canal's capacity and will maintain the Suez Canal's position as a major maritime trade route against increased competition globally. This audacious project is on schedule for completion and has been entirely funded by the Egyptian people. Over 64 billion Egyptian pounds were raised through investment certificates, a true testament to the country's resilience and its willingness to invest in its future. The new Suez Canal will provide the springboard for a major economic transformation that will begin with the development of the Suez Canal Zone. The SC Zone is strategically located astride the world's major shipping lanes and seeks to take advantage of Egypt's proximity to major global markets and the abundance of land and human resources to develop one of the world's most dynamic trade, logistics and manufacturing centers. The SC Zone provides investors with a competitive platform to access over 1.6 billion customers globally under preferential trade agreements. We believe that we can build on our strong ties with our existing trading partners to develop further areas of opportunities and increase Egypt's share of international trade. With a large and growing population of nearly 90 million people and with rising living standards, the domestic market also provides strong opportunities for investment. Our vision is to transform the SC Zone into a world-class global logistics and industrial processing center that serves global markets and to create sustainable and high-quality jobs for the Egyptian people. Our aim is to create one million new jobs over the coming 15 years. The SC Zone offers investors opportunities across all economic sectors. In the maritime sector, there are many opportunities available in the development of ports and container terminals, logistics and distribution centers, as well as shipbuilding and ship repair. The outlook for the manufacturing sector is equally promising with opportunities in a wide range of industries such as pharmaceuticals, food processing, automotive, textiles and consumer electronics. With a fast-flowing ICT industry in Egypt, the SC Zone is the right place for new businesses and initiatives to grow and utilize the Egyptian talent pool. The SC Zone is also well placed for the development of renewable and clean energy projects.
To achieve our vision, the SC Zone will create a new investor-friendly environment, which will be a blueprint for future development nationally. Investors will benefit from a true one-stop shop with highly efficient and streamlined procedures to ensure smooth business operations. In developing our regional strategy, we have considered the main development nodes along the Suez Canal. These are linked to Cairo via a series of expressways. A new expressway and road and rail tunnels will also provide access to East Port Said, with international links provided by Cairo Airport and potentially Port Said Airport. Within the SC zone, a number of existing large-scale industrial sites can form a basis for future development, such as 10th of Ramadan Industrial City and the proposed new administrative center. The primary development centers lie along the Suez Canal corridor. In the south, the industrial complex at Ain Sukhna will build on the existing economic zone and port. In the north, East Port Said Port will grow as a global transshipment hub supported by a large new logistics and industrial area. Links to the interior will be enhanced with the extension of the inland ring road to Ain Sukhna and to a major new dry port near Tenth of Ramadan, as well as by rail to East Port Said. Cross-canal connections are also under construction to open up the Sinai region. Over the coming 15 years, three major economic nodes will have evolved, linked to Cairo and each other by high-quality transport infrastructure. In the longer run, the development emphasis will shift to east of the canal and along the inland ring road. The SC Zone is not only about investments and jobs. It is also about integrated, sustainable communities where people want to live and work. The private sector will play an important role in supporting the development of these communities. Finally, the General Authority for the Suez Canal Economic Zone has the support of the government, the business community and the people of Egypt. We are looking for partners to join us. We have listened to stakeholders from all parts of Egyptian society and the international community and believe we have created a framework in which all parties can participate meaningfully in ushering in a new and prosperous future for Egypt. Thank you. SC Zone is the name we chose for Suez Canal Zone, which 
With your permission, Your Excellency, the President, let us quickly review what kind of job opportunities are available in the zone. Now we have a general um, overview of the project, and tomorrow we will have a workshop detailing all aspects of the project industries and job investment opportunities. The layout is finished, and the detailed layout of priority areas have been finalized, and they are ready for investment. At the beginning of the project, we had to take into account the national projects carried out by the Egyptian government, which has a long list of projects that have been discussed in this uh, conference, be it uh, the strategic um, layout of the uh, west-north uh, coast and the Golden Triangle and the new administrative city and the grain mega project in Damietta. These national projects, as well as others, we had to also focus on the SC zone in order to greatly integrate it with these projects and taking into account the new canal that added an important dimension to the development project. So these are complementary, greatly complementary to each other. I believe that the development project in the Suez Canal zone has been very lucky because uh, the launching of this uh, uh, project are coupled with digging the new canal. So they, uh, it has benefited a lot from the added value of this project. The CSC zones has a vision that transforming the area into a world-class global logistics hub uh, in addition to creating sustainable and good job opportunities for the Egyptians. This is the basic vision of the project. It was very important to see the context and in which area the project is going to be implemented. So the study area included three ma ma major cities, Poussaid, Ismailia, and Suez, in addition to El Sokhna. And we had also six ports. The beginning of this project, it was very important to identify the scope of the study impacting uh, the project and also impacted by the Suez Canal Zone in general. We have studied all possible uh, promising opportunities, the uh, plan of the government. And in this opportunity, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the Egyptian government, Excellency, the Prime Minister, and also the ministers that have provided us with all the data that allowed us greatly to identify the different investment opportunities linked to this zone. Now we are talking about three governorates on the canal, this North and South Sinai, talking about six port uh, uh, ports at the Bay Aini, Sokhna, and North and South of Port uh, Said, in addition to Arish and Urtu ports. It was highly important to study on this uh, higher scale all kinds and aspects related to the project. Basically, we started with the transport lanes. We had an extensive study in collaboration with the Ministry of Transport on the development of roads and railways linked to this project. Portside and Sukhna ports will have a very importance in this project and link it to the inner side is very important because we have the layout. We will optimize uh, the rule of the dry ports in the tent of Ramadan city. So the transportation and means of transportation, be it inside or inter cities, and through the tunnels that are currently executed and implemented in the Suez Canal zone to link the east and west of the canal. This has been taken into account in the study. We have also studied the 
economic uh, entities, the major economic entities, uh, Excellency President, we have three. Uh, we have identified three major sectors that will constitute the pillars of the activities. First, we have the ports and logistic areas, all what is related to maritime activities, and the third is the manufacturing and then ICT uh, power in all its forms and shapes. This area and through these sectors is capable of providing one million job opportunities over the coming 15 years until uh, 2030. And what you have in front of you is the economic zones that are or actually we had a detail laid out. They are uh, three uh, economic sectors or clusters. In total, total surface area exceeds 500 square kilometers. Very vast areas available for investment and development, be it in the area of uh, ports or the associated um, uh, industrial zones. It was very important to ensure the success and to be immediately developed. We had to study the needs of the utilities of these uh, areas. So it was very important to study as far as utilities are concerned we had to study the needs, the quantities, the cost, estimated costs, and where these utilities will be located specifically. What we have in front of you is the energy. This area over the coming 15 years will need investments of uh, six giga of electricity power. These uh, projects are immediately available. And now we have an integrated study on the needs or the needs of the area of uh, uh, water supplies and the wastewater plants, be it new or existing plants that need uh, to be rehabilitated and to um, improve and um, uh, update their uh, capacities. The estimated investment cost about 15 billion US dollars. Nevertheless, these detailed layouts needed that uh, we have to talk about the short-term opportunities. We have three main locations we, that are ready now in the East Poside area, in Qantara, linked to Ismailia, and Ain Sukhna area. These are the sites. The layout in front of you is for the East Poside area. This is how we see the East of Poside to transform it into transshipment, a hub or a center for transshipment and shipping, which will be the basis of trade as main gateway. And now you have in front of you the industries or the industrial zones. Excellency, the president, the layout is uh, targeting light and medium industries which is linked to the port. We have the assembly, manufacturings, and logistic centers, largely. Tomorrow, we'll have a full layout of, this, uh, of these projects in the workshops. But it's worth mentioning here that we have uh, 4,000 hectares of very well planned taking into account full flexibility to match and align with the needs of industries and investors regarding providing the infrastructure and the available areas for these industries. Now, the incentive or the 
um, uh, uh, the East uh, Forsyth port, uh, we uh, finished with the first phase. Now, this is the layout for the new East Forsyth, how to start with the second base basin that provide a huge investments and in a very near very recent meeting you gave the orders to start immediately with this port this will constitute a very important incentives to start working in this uh, industrial zone related to this project Kantara, this is the layout it will be basically based on the industries associated or the food industries because it is related to the in the uh, agriculture areas adjacent it's very promising area to start with small and medium sized enterprises that maybe for uh, food industries or textiles and also uh, there is a possibility for a real estate investment or housing investments. This is this layout or the site of land use for Qantara area. The third area is the Sukhna, which is actually extremely promising. The port that you have on your right hand and then the northwest of the Suez Canal. It's a very large area, exceeds eight, 80 ki, uh, square kilometers. It's the largest promising area. Uh, the vision for this area is that it will be Egypt's gateway to link with the GCC, with Africa and Asia. We have advantages of this site. So now, as you can see in this layout, we have finished, and it includes all kinds of usages, be it heavy industries, because in Air Sukhna, it can accommodate for petrochemicals industries, and also medium industries in contrary to foresight um, uh, small to medium in foresight but in Ain uh, Sukhna it's in medium to large industries or heavy industries we have taken into account the element of flexibility and to align with the population and social needs of the region it is very important component uh, that we have taken into account. And now, this is the new layout of Ain uh, Sukhna port, hoping that it will be um, shortly implemented. Not to take much of your time. Now, while we are talking about the SC zone and why it is promising, it is promising because it's in the heart of the global trade and it has connections and links inside Egypt and at the regional and global levels. And it provides endless opportunities of investment in the area of manufacturing, logistics, and all what is related to ports. Egypt possesses a huge labor force that can greatly be utilized in the uh, project. Now, there are excellent promising investment opportunities, very immediate, in the infrastructure and the l links, be it roads, etc. As you have ordered, sir, the project will adapt the concept of one stop shop and 
we will secure all elements of attraction and alignment and matching the needs of potential investors. I believe that we have also started having and signing a protocol with the investment ministry in order to promote uh, the uh, project. Finally, dear investors, tomorrow we will have four workshops. You are kindly invited to attend these parallel workshops. So allow me in a minute to uh, give you an idea and a brief idea about uh, these workshops. Basically, the first workshop will address the ports and logistics centers. The second will be projects and infrastructure, potential projects. And the third, communication, ICT, and administrative centers of the project. The fourth workshop will be dedicated to the industrial zones, be it in East Poseid or El Sukhna area. The workshops, uh, there will be more details about the layouts and the number of profiling for a number of projects. And we will have experts that can entertain any kind of potential questions. I would like also to say that there is a website that have been built and launched three or four days ago. It has a lot of information about the project. And today, we have a small booklet or brochure. Um, it will be handed out to you. The young and the youth who took part in this project, they have made an excellent effort. The young. The youth played an excellent role, and they made an application on the tablets. It has an icon uh, called SC Zone. I promise you, in two weeks or three weeks maximum, it is being revised in Apple Store. It's a full application on all information related to this project. This application includes all sorts of information. It will be updated, adding all information related to the site. And the project will be on this application. It will be constantly updated so that it will be accessible to everyone to have a good idea about the project and how to communicate with the authority that will run this project with the full efficacy and efficiency. Thank you very much for your time. Dr. Haney, min Dr. Haney from the presentations we heard, we will move on to you. The loans are the key to the success of all the mega project that we discussed in this conference last week, the law for the development of the new SE zone uh, was promulgated. What are the uh, details of the laws? And we consider it as the best legislation in modern history. Allow me to say as in relation uh, to the legal organization and logistic for this conference, we had six steps that were taken. First, the organizational framework and the law that will uh, govern uh, this zone. This is the first step. The second step is the establishment of the economic authority that will regulate and implement uh, that uh, project and which will deal with investors. Linked to those two steps uh, is a third step related to the distribution and the determining of the land on which the project will be established and the designs. Another 
a major step for the success of this project with all those are stages that will need the funding or the financing or the seed money or the f uh, basic finances the authority from the first day will be able to carry out its fundamental uh, projects and the studies related to it we had a fifth step and that is the necessary infrastructure in order to carry out those projects and the last step to be taken is related to the promulgation and the issuing of policies and decisions and the organizational framework because those will be uh, uh, an agent the representative of the state and the government and all the ministries and all the authorities is the only authority that we deal with the investor on, in, on behalf of all those authorities and ministries and uh, the different governorates as well. It is necessary to have uh, the, its own systems and regulations so that to organize and regulate the project. This is a long uh, reply, but I know that the investors want to know from the very first day that this authority would be prepared with its uh, legal organization of matters. As for the law, we are carried out many studies since we were mandated to do that until we concluded that the optimum law for this zone is the uh, special economic zone. It has been established for several years, but it has not been enforced in uh, a big manner. I am still of the opinion as a speci speci uh, specialized in this field that the best way to invest in modern Egypt includes and all the workshops, all the seminars talk about the problems of investment in Egypt and the laws, etc. But this law actually was promulgated in 2002 to reflect the best international practices and it has taken from the best experiences. Why is it different from other investment laws? It is a law that is uh, independent because the nature of the economic zone, including the SE zone, is that it is based on the export activities in the first place. And this uh, law has uh, compiled all the necessary incentives, the basic objective of which is to avoid all the impediments facing uh, investment in Egypt. For instance, that law dealt with the uh, economic authority as a state that is responsible to issue all permits. This is the one shop uh, system with all its details. I do, do not go to any other authority other than the sovereigns, uh, ministries, defense, uh, uh, justice, and uh, foreign affairs, etc. Otherwise, I'll, I deal with, with the law. The uh, one shop uh, system that is being applied has provided Uh, what are the problems prevailing in Egypt? It's the problem of taxation, not only the pricing of taxes, but the systems of taxes. We have simplified uh, six, uh, uh, simplified taxation system, a uh, custom system that was also simplified. It also activated uh, the settlement of disputes, not only the commercial or economic disputes, but also it went to uh, disputes related to work, uh, insurance, etc. Is it subject to the unifi unified uh, law uh, for investment? It is independent, it is different from the investment law. Let us say that we have two kinds of laws or two frameworks. The frame framework uh, that is the investment uh, law that uh, regulates in internal investment and uh, another law that uh, regulates the special zones uh, foremost among which is the SZ zone project. We spoke of an uh, area with about 250 square kilometers. It covers uh, and intertwines with three governors and other matters. Its basic philosophy is based on activity and uh, export industries. That law is a model that has been successful in many countries, foremost among which is uh, Finland, Southern Korea, and uh, this law, as a matter of fact, has uh, taken from those basic uh, aspects of those successful applications. We, as a legal advisor for the Suez Canal Authority, I say that the amendments we introduced were very simple ones. For the mere fact to tackle and remedy some of the problems that emerge in the past 10 years, Yet, it also deals with the different developments, but the philosophy of the law, as I've explained, existed as, uh, as a fact 
from 2022, all we need is to apply. And hence we say that we have a, a ready-made law that will start from the very first day. The uh, amendments that we have proposed were very simple ones, agreed and approved by the cabinet in uh, its meeting last Wednesday. And it was referred to the president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and I believe that the law will issue uh, within a few days. Uh, there is another point, sorry for my lengthy uh, statement, but I want to clarify this point. Also, it's a very, very important point that is taking place in Egypt, it's related to the allocation of lands. That law has dealt with the allocation of lands, and this authority is responsible for all the facilities and the lands that exist. The allocation mat matter is very clear, and has, has been completed, and the technical side that determines the uh, development and the places and locations from the very first day of the work of the authority, the, uh, the places that are subjected to it are known, the ports that are affiliated to it are also specified and are known. There is no uh, intervention by other authorities inside of Egypt. That is the authority is responsible to allocate those regions, those zones, and the aim behind that uh, law is to uh, carry it out and uh, it is based on uh, the utilization for a period of 50 years uh, and we have seen the idea of back to bay bills so that the, the funding would uh, are there any problems for the financial institutions for a period of 50 years and we found that the responses said that there are no problems that uh, with an amendment that has been proposed as a matter of fact from the legislative reform committee to allow uh, propriety for certain uh, projects according to certain uh, kinds of uh, projects like tourism industries or other with certain conditions that are determined by the Egyptian cabinet. I have a quick question here. How does the, the law took into consideration the prompt implementation of the contracts? When can implementation start? Implementation to be carried out, we ha had to have a legal framework. In what framework are we going to have a contract? We m what had to have the places uh, defined, and this has been completed. I want to say also that the mechanism that we need in order to establish that authority was a presidential decree, and that presidential decree was prepared to establish the authority and uh, to uh, up, uh, update it, and also it was referred to the prime minister in order to preliminary to submission to the cabinet and to the president. All those steps also have been carried out that after the workshops that were, that uh, uh, after this conference immediately, we will have a law in existence, we have an authority in existence with its different locations. All those steps have been completed and this is the most important part of the, our problems. As for your uh, the question, the prompt uh, implementation, facilitation of the procedures, the investor, all that needs from me is the land and its allocation and the right to, uh, the bene uh, to benefit from the land. And this will be provided by the authority immediately after it is activated. The contracts are ready. The procedure itself is easy and I don't have a problem. Uh, there is no legal complications at the same time what we require some work to carry out, and this we did not take, uh, do that, are the models of the corporations, the, the statute, etc. But I believe that we can do this in a short period of time. There's a question that will be by necessity asked, is with the authority when it established its uh, statutes, its uh, organization system, and institutional uh, side, will it be completed until then? With whom will the investor address himself? This is going, uh, we propose this to the transition period, and this is the, the president decree that the Suez Canal Authority will uh, take out this, uh, uh, or shoulder that uh, responsibility until the complete organizational uh, aspect is completed. And I want to say that this is not uh, far from the duties of the Suez Canal Authority, and according to the uh, law 30 of 1975, we established this authority is uh, responsible for the development and the growth of the Suez Canal Zone. And this is part and parcel of its duties. Perhaps there is a very large point related to the infrastructure, and this is not uh, part of our duties, but this framework has facilitated to a large extent to 
accelerate the implementation of the projects related to the infrastructure that organizationally law uh, allows every form of uh, endeavor. The private sector can or regulate and the authority can directly carry out what it can undertake. It allows partnership and hence all the uh, systems of uh, the private sector's uh, contribution in the infrastructure is very important. We have opportunities in the field of renewable energy because the Suez Canal zone uh, from the wind aspect is the fastest wind ava winds available and also in the uh, solar energy field we have promising uh, systems here uh, uh, the uh, regulations allow the pro uh, particip participation of the private sector very easily and we are re re uh, ready from the regulatory point of view to start as of now speaking about the, the opportunities available to the industrial sector where are the, your opportunities, Mr. Mahalat? In the name of the God Almighty, I welcome the President and honorable uh, guests. The opportunities, we can explain the previous stage of the industries in the past and the different impacts and what are the procedures that were taken by the government to reform the situation. The rate of growth was 7%. We had uh, giant projects and the laws were not very clear totally in the relationship between the investor and the state, the government, and hence when uh, the events after the beginning of the revolution took place, uh, the uh, trials st started and this shook the confidence of the investors in uh, the different procedures. And this is what the state started to look into. What are the reasons we have confidence that has been shaken, let us correct the situation, and we have a people to deal with. We are dealing with the state and not a corporation. I look into the investments that are large, uh, SMEs and micro industries as well. Here we start the procedure. We, the idea of that the whole community, the whole society takes part in the development, this is the base, basic point that I want to deal with that was mentioned by uh, Admiral Manish. Uh, the industrial zones for SMEs and micro industries as well, Wh which means we are establishing a city, uh, uh, areas with the light of uh, utilization and benefits, establishing new workshops, uh, housing, uh, sanitation, a complete uh, city, uh, storage, administrative, which means that I tell the youth and I tell the small uh, laborer, you are partnered with us in our endeavors. What are the indices that I speak to? What are the new indices which can say that uh, plays a role in addition to the indices that are conventional that we always see in a project like the, that of the development of the Suez Canal? How can you take into consideration the geographical position? Uh, the Suez Canal zone is attractive to investment by nature. It is, uh, has a lot of potential, uh, iron, uh, cement, etc. It is uh, an, uh, an industrial area with the high density of labor, uh, like I tell uh, on a other areas. In that case, when, when I establish a, a residential area, I have a small factory, a big one, and I know that I have a, a vocational uh, center. I have a, a city that is close. It is not away from the services, the industrial services, but the services that are appropriate for the industries. What is most important also that it is uh, attractive, uh, an attractive zone, I said, but Egypt is not uh, uh, 90 million, it is 1,600 uh, agents, clients, uh, agreements, international uh, agreements with uh, Africa, with uh, Europe, with the Sicily Arab countries, and it's a partner in the development that is taking place at the present time as well. You have witnessed that the projects that have uh, reached agreement and which have started to be implemented. Uh, law has been promulgated and some of them have been issued actually. Uh, the uh, preferential treatment for the local investor, for instance, the, that is the product that is produced in Egypt, uh, uh, an added value that reaches 40%. Uh, the different uh, raw materials that is, that is used has a preferential treatment regarding the uh, government contracts or any projects from the government budget with a percentage that reaches about 15% in the price. 
when an investor comes to me, I'm a partner in the investor investment in Egypt. I'm a partner, and I can reach uh, one billion and six hundred thousand individuals. We have another uh, problem. We have a new investment law that has uh, uh, crossed the T's and uh, dotted the I's. The prerogatives uh, that uh, were passed are not specializations, they're not competences. Uh, shaking hand cannot stand with us, have no place among us. We issued a law that you can deal with. We have uh, two other matters that were uh, uh, undertaken. We have 90 million individuals that can work, and for sure, all the more I have employment opportunities, the more I will safeguard security and stability in the region. Thanks. For the very first time in the history of the Arab Republic of Egypt, we have a ministry that established for vocational training and education. We are facing realities. We are facing our problems seriously. We, yeah, I have a problem. I need training. I need educational, uh, vocational education. The education system has to deal with this. There, is, uh, there are some impediments. Also, the currency, the black market, etc. The state has faced this, and has, it is true that it has taken a lot of reforms, and it bloated the town. And now we have one uh, rate of exchange, and this is very good for the investors. The problems are being solved very uh, promptly. Uh, we have political problems. We have problems for investors, particularly as he told, the authority immediately solves all problems in a few moments. Uh, ma uh, time passes very quickly. I direct the question to Admiral Danish. A uh, lot of uh, have spoken about the digging of and the dredging of the Suez Canal, for the giving it to the uh, engineering department of the army. Is, the, is it true that the authority is competing with the private sector uh, in the different uh, activities undertaken in the zone? Will the authority will also hand uh, other uh, responsibilities? And is the authority competing with, Suez, with the private sector? The Suez Canal has its right to deal with anything related to the passage of vessels according to the law of the Suez Canal Authority, according to the directives that were issued to us. We have to affiliate the companies affiliated to the Suez Canal and to change our kinds of activities and to cooperate with the private sector and cooperate with the investors in the development of the revenues of the Suez Canal and uh, to upgrade all the potentials of existence in the Suez Canal Authority or the affiliated companies. The idea is that the Suez Canal should not continue to be a, a water passage, a waterway. It has to be an economic authority to invest and to uh, pump into the national eco Egyptian economy and the uh, development of the SE zone with the new Suez Canal will uh, uh, raise the ranking of uh, the area and, the, uh, and Egypt. It will be an opportunity for the co companies of the Suez Canal to take part in the industrial zones and the logistics, and we have directives in that connection, and we have a priority for the companies affiliated to the Suez Canal Authority, but to be able to do that, uh, to be part of that, it has to be able to carry out the duties and uh, the uh, labor force should be high so that the investor, when he comes, would have efficient and competent labor force and updated uh, uh, mechanisms and means that could be used in the development of the zone. We are open in the Suez Canal, the new Suez Canal, as I have said, and all who work in that, starting from the dry digging, we have 78 national companies are taking part in the digging. The process of the dredging is according to the political directives to be completed in a period of uh, one year, and that is a challenge that it has been unprecedented that we'll be able to dig a canal in one year with a depth of 24 meters and uh, th uh, 400 meters wide. In addition to all this, with the we have taken great strides in the new uh, canal, and the president is satisfied, and uh, we v there were visits to the new Suez Canal. What do I say this? We are the ability to, to raise the challenge, to accomplish, and when we are provided with an opportunity, we prove our presence, and our, this is very quickly, Mr. Admiral Mashir. 
the expected impact on the economy on the zone and the different governments in that area. It will be highly ranked internationally, and Egypt, through the digging of the new Suez Canal, the strategic weight will move to the area, particularly in the economic field, to Egypt, because Egypt uh, is proximity in the world. It links the north, as I told you, with the Mediterranean and the east and west, and to the eastern coast of the United States and until China and Japan. It is a, a good uh, geographical proximity. It is a place for industries and processing, and this location has to be utilized. And in order to exploit uh, this, we ha must have good, uh, flexible investment laws, uh, technical uh, labor that is trained, a strong infrastructure, encourage investors to invest in the region. Thank you, and we thank for your participation of you. We thank the President and your excellence for your uh, presence, and we thank you all.